So there's a long history of using venoms or the proteins contained in venoms as therapeutics. Chlorotoxin was isolated as a component of the venom of, this, of a scorpion like this one. It came about by this predator-prey evolution between the scorpion and its prey. The beauty of chlorotoxin is that it binds to a great proportion of tumors and of tumor cells. For us at City of Hope, we're trying to develop new strategies of using the immune system to improve outcomes for patients with glioblastoma. So we're publishing a study showing that you can take a small peptide derived from the venom of scorpions and use that to redirect the specificity of T cells to recognize and destroy brain tumor cells. Glioblastomas, or GBM as we often refer to them, are one of the most common and difficult to treat primary brain tumors, especially in adults. One is it's in the brain, and therefore you therefore any treatment has to be very specific for the for the tumor and avoid all the rest of the brain cells. We take out T cells from the patient's own blood, and we engineer them by putting in a molecule called a chimeric antigen receptor, or CARS. So it's a synthetic molecule that uh, reprograms those T cells to recognize the patient's tumor. We make this molecule, we make this CAR molecule, and we incorporate chlorotoxin as part of it to recognize the tumor, and we put this molecule to the T cells. And what we found when we mix these T cells with the tumor cells is these, these T cells start to kill the tumor. We actually got broad and specific recognition of GBM cells in ways that we didn't imagine um, it would work. So the search has been for molecules to be targeted that are expressed by as large a proportion of glioblastoma cells as possible because then that gives you the best chance, of course, of killing the tumor. And chlorotoxin in our hands has bound to the glioblastomas of more patients and of more cells within those patients than any other agent we've tried. This was the first time that anybody proposed doing this type of thing, using, using a toxin for this purpose. And so it was, it was an adventure. And at every step of the way, we were waiting for something to go wrong, and, um, and it didn't. And so we're now at the point where we've done everything in terms of characterizing it and doing safety studies. And there's only one thing left to do, which is to uh, use it in a clinical trial and trial in a patient. Our clinical trial has just activated last week. So we are right now screening patients to now test this novel therapy for the first time in patients with glioblastoma. We're really excited about what we're going to learn and how we're going to advance the field for the treatment of brain tumors.